Okay, so this is our POV fan game display. Um, so we got quite a bit of hardware on here. We've got some batteries uh, powering the electronics. So we've got four double A's to power all our LEDs. We've got a nine volt to power our PIC32 microcontroller. We've got an accelerometer for gameplay controls and the level shifter to properly power the dot star. If you look here, there is a mount for our dot star. Uh, this is a pretty hard to design, but there's a slip ring there that allows us to spin the dot star freely without any tangle, tangling in the wires. And if and the only thing that plugs into the wall is the power for the box fan. And and so the accelerometer is the gameplay, is the game interface. Yeah, the you lift the, the whole fan. So if I spin the fan for you, it just looks like a regular pretty display. All right. So to start off, I just uh, give you a pretty display, but if you press the start game button, um, I actually play the game. The game was inspired by the Google's uh, out of internet dinosaur game where a dinosaur needs to jump up and avoid obstacles. Uh, so the green thing is our dinosaur, and uh, the red thing is actually a distorted fireball. The dinosaur jumps up um, by a user shaking the fan, and the accelerometer detects the motion. And uh, if the, dinosaur, the dinosaur dies when it fell to yield a fireball, and it blends the dinosaur. Uh -huh. Just like that. <laughs> Louis. OK. And then you can restart. If that was, <laughs> or if perfect set. Okay, flip the, Okay, <laughs> flip the lights off over there, and let's see if it looks better or worse. Leave this on and flip Sorry. the lights off. Lights oh. on oh, the here. room lights. Sure. Oh, that's weird. Okay, <laughs> do that. Leave it like that. Yeah. Okay. Let me try the game. Yeah. So it could be a nice set piece for any living room or whatever you like. <laughs> it's good for your arm. <laughs> good, good for your upper body, yes. Okay, die there for now. And Bluey. they were blended. Okay, thank you.